When it comes to this thing called climate change, there are a lot of misconceptions. But just like a back to school shoe sailing town, it's just bare confusion. But you see, climate change poses some serious threats, like the destruction of coastlines, long periods without water, and a whole set of stress. So let's take a good look at this thing called climate change and what it really means for people right here in the Caribbean. Climate change can be loosely defined as a change in the long-term average of climate conditions at a specific location. It can also be seen as a change in climate variability over the long term. For example, you see you're getting these wet days during the dry season or during the wet season. You see the got times when you're just ain't getting the rain at all. Now this change that people keep talking about is the rising global temperatures and all the things that come with it. But for true, what's all these climate impacts that we supposed to know about? One of them, decreased rainfall. Climate projections show, right, that there are going to be more droughts and even longer dry periods. Another impact is sea level rise. And the definition of sea level rise is that the sea level does rise. You see, when you heat water, it does expand. And it's so hot, right, it's causing the sea to expand. And as the sea expands, the sea level rises. So sea level rise, it don't just mean that when you go to the beach, instead of the sea being down by your knees, it up by your waist now. As sea level rises, the sea goes further inland, and that's caused all sorts of issues. But sea level rise, for true. Who cares why is this important? Well, there's this reason. It can cause destructive erosion. I mean the expansion and shrinkage of beaches, that's a natural thing. You know sometimes a year when the water calm, the beach is be nice and broad. But other times when it rough, the beach is shrink. All that there, not normal. But what I mean is when there's a constant trend of shrinkage. And if you live in the same Caribbean that I do, you know that we love to put development along the coast. But as sea level rise continues, you can see lots of examples of properties being damaged in low lying areas. Another expected impact is the increase of high energy events. But we from the Caribbean, so when we hear high energy event, we should be thinking about Lil Rick and Marshall Montano in a show. But, but that ain't what I was talking about. With rising sea surface temperatures, we're supposed to see more frequent and more intense storms. I mean, we could already see it happening. The had periods of long drought and then out of the blue, the players wash away. You remember the event they had in Dominica? and then the two they had in St. Vincent. And yeah, I mean total annual rainfall is supposed to decrease. But in periods where we have intense rain, unless certain things are put in place, it can cause serious flooding. Now with all these impacts, let's focus in on the one that's closest to home. Yeah, I am talking about water. Just answer these questions for me. Barbados is a water scarce nation, right? Yes, within the top 15 most water scarce nations. But things are getting even worse as we receive less and less rainfall. Look at the last two years. Annual rainfall fell well below the average lows previously recorded. So this water scarcity thing, it ain't a joke. And climate change ain't gonna make it no sweeter. So we obviously gotta put things in place to make sure that we can handle the impacts. And I don't know about you, but I need water to survive. So what do these changes mean for our available water resources in the future? And let me tell you a secret, right? It just so happens that rain make out the water. And here in Barbados, the water that we have available is highly dependent on the amount of rain that we receive. Let me explain. You see, rain, it helps to recharge our aquifers. You see, without rain, there's not enough water penetrating the ground to refill our water reserves. And to make it worse, right, sea level rise, it causes salt water intrusion. Look, we all grew up hearing that Barbados make out of limestone. That means that it's porous. In other words, it holy. It holy like an old t-shirt. So you see, along the coastline, the saline water does get in and infiltrate our groundwater reserves. So the water in this area does be brackish, as the salty sea water does force its way in and mix with the fresh water. Now you see, this salt water intrusion issue it may not be on our minds as the biggest problem, but as sea level rise continues and this salt water progresses inland, that's just beer issues. This will have a serious impact 
on our groundwater resources. Now I think that we have a better idea of what climate change is and what it really got to do with the price of sugar. So if you like me, right, and you ain't too bright, or you just got two things slow, or maybe you might just want a little bit more information, you could go and check out these links.